Okay, today I want to talk about arm construction and which approaches are my favorites. For a quick and easy approach, my favorite is to use point binding using a kind of a patch or reference circle at the elbow. And I'll link to a video that talks about this construction. But the advantage is it's very easy to do and when you uh, manipulate it, uh, the bone can come up over the top. So as you look at the elbow, um, it stays smooth and nice as the um, arm can come over the top. And you also have overlap that you can show. And you can use, using uh, animated shape ordering, you can change whether the overlap is the upper arm is in front or the forearm is in front. Now if I've just got a single hand, I like to use the uh, points and do uh, flexi binding for the individual fingers and that provides a really neat little thing that you can do. If I have very specific hand shapes that I want, then I can use a switch layer for that. Now, if I'm going to do a very advanced arm movement, like maybe with muscles bulging and things like that, my favorite would be to uh, use smart bones, but at the elbow I use the kind of construction that's used for the mankind arm. Now, I don't use the bones for the mankind arm, um, and I'll link to an explanation on what I do, but uh, that's the construction I use at the elbow. So I'll have a shape for the upper arm, a shape for the elbow, and a shape for the forearm. And then I could have individual fingers or uh, however I want in the hand, but it has the same basic kind of approach as the point binding. I'm just adding the smart bone capabilities in there if I, if I wanted to have some real nice looking there. Extra bone, uh, muscle movement and things. But for something that's quick and fun, uh, the sketch bones are just pretty awesome. And so you ought to play around with that. I'll put a link into that as well. Um, but the sketch bones provide really neat capabilities. So that's a really fun thing to play with. So I have created a video that has uh, lots of different animation techniques, or perhaps I should say uh, arm construction techniques. And uh, if you haven't really done much with that, uh, you should check it out. And I'll link it here, and uh, hopefully it can be helpful.